Do you truly understand the complex life behind the spotlight of Bill Murray, the legendary comedian? It's not all laughter and jokes, as you might assume. With over seven decades of life experience, Bill's journey is filled with challenges that have significantly shaped his character. In this video, we will delve into the first-hand accounts of the hurdles Bill Murray had to surmount. Some of his stories may surprise you. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button for our channel and don't forget to like this video. In the bustling town of Evanston, Illinois, the year 1950 marked the arrival of a future comedic legend. Born on September 21st, William James Murray, known to the world as Bill Murray, would rise from humble beginnings to become one of the most revered and enigmatic figures in Hollywood. To truly understand the man, we must delve into the lives of his parents, Lucille and Edward Murray, whose influence shaped young Bill's character and set the stage for his extraordinary journey. Lucille Collins, a resilient woman of Irish and German descent, was a mailroom clerk and a nurse. She possessed an indomitable spirit, which she passed on to her nine children. Lucille's life was far from easy, as she faced numerous challenges and hardships but she remained steadfast in her determination to provide for her family. Edward Joseph Murray II, Bill's father, was a lumber salesman with a penchant for storytelling. He was a man of Irish descent whose own father had immigrated to the United States from County Cork. Edward's tales captivated his children, instilling in them a love of humor and the art of storytelling. However, Edward's life was marred by tragedy and personal demons which cast a long shadow over the Murray household. The early years of their marriage were marked by the joy of starting a family and the challenges of navigating life during World War II. Lucille and Edward welcomed their first child, Edward the Fry, in 1941, followed by seven more children over the next decade. Bill Murray's early life was marked by financial struggles and the ever-present specter of his father's health issues. Edward Murray had contracted diabetes as a result of complications from malaria, which he had acquired while serving in the South Pacific during World War II. The disease took a heavy toll on Edward, eventually leading to the amputation of both his legs. This devastating turn of events left an indelible mark on young Bill, who would often help his father with daily tasks and bear witness to the pain that his father endured. The Murray family's financial struggles were further compounded by the loss of Edward's job. The combination of mounting medical bills and the lack of a steady income pushed the family to the brink of poverty. Lucille, determined to keep her family afloat, took on multiple jobs to make ends meet. Despite the hardships, she remained a pillar of strength for her children, instilling in them the values of perseverance and resilience. As the Murrays navigated the treacherous waters of financial insecurity, the family's living conditions deteriorated. They were forced to move into a cramped, two-bedroom apartment where the children shared a single room. The close quarters and lack of privacy fostered a sense of camaraderie among the siblings, but it also bred tension and conflict. The Murray children found solace in humor, using it as a coping mechanism to deal with the harsh realities of their lives. They would often entertain each other with impromptu comedy sketches and impressions, honing their comedic skills in the process. Bill, in particular, showed a natural talent for making people laugh, a gift that would serve him well in the years to come. Bill Murray's high school years were a tumultuous period marked by personal loss, academic struggles, and the first glimmers of his comedic talent. As he navigated the challenges of adolescence, young Bill found solace in humor and the support of his siblings, laying the groundwork for his future career as a comedic icon. Bill Murray attended Loyola Academy, a private Catholic high school in Wilmette, Illinois. The school was known for its rigorous academic curriculum and strict discipline, a stark contrast to the chaotic home life that Bill had grown accustomed to. Despite the challenges he faced at home, Bill initially thrived in this structured environment, excelling in both academics and extracurricular activities. However, 
the Murray family's fortunes took a turn for the worse during Bill's high school years. His father, Edward, succumbed to his long battle with diabetes when Bill was just 17 years old. The loss of his father was a devastating blow, leaving a void in the lives of the Murray children and pushing the family deeper into financial hardship. In the wake of his father's death, Bill Murray's academic performance began to suffer. He struggled to cope with the loss, and his grades plummeted as a result. The once promising student found himself at odds with the school's administration, frequently clashing with teachers and administrators over his declining academic performance and disciplinary issues. Despite these challenges, Bill Murray's high school years were not without their bright spots. He discovered a passion for golf, joining the school's golf team and honing his skills on the course. Golf would become a lifelong passion for Bill, providing him with a much-needed outlet for stress and a sense of camaraderie with his fellow players. It was also during his high school years that Bill Murray's comedic talents began to emerge. He and his siblings had always relied on humor as a coping mechanism, and Bill found that his knack for making people laugh translated well to the stage. He joined the school's drama club and began performing in local theater productions, discovering a newfound sense of purpose and direction in the process. As Bill Murray's high school career drew to a close, he found himself at a crossroads, uncertain of his future and grappling with the challenges that had definite his adolescence. The loss of his father, his declining academic performance, and his disciplinary issues had taken a toll on his prospects. But his passion for comedy and the support of his siblings provided him with a glimmer of hope in an otherwise uncertain world. Upon graduating from Loyola Academy in 1968, Bill Murray faced a difficult decision. Continue his education or pursue his passion for comedy. His academic struggles and disciplinary issues had left him with limited options for higher education, and he knew that the traditional college experience was not the right fit for him. Instead, Bill decided to follow his heart and take a chance on his comedic talents. Bill's first step into the world of comedy was enrolling in the famed Second City Improv Group in Chicago. Founded in 1959, Second City had become a breeding ground for comedic talent. Producing such luminaries as John Belushi, Gilda Radner, and Dan Aykroyd. For Bill Murray, the opportunity to learn from and perform alongside these comedic legends was a dream come true. However, the road to success was not an easy one for Bill Murray. The world of improv comedy was fiercely competitive, and Bill found himself struggling to make a name for himself in a sea of talented performers. He worked tirelessly to hone his craft, attending workshops and performing in small venues throughout Chicago. Despite the challenges he faced, Bill remained undeterred, determined to make a career out of his passion for comedy. As Bill Murray continued to pursue his comedic dreams, he faced a series of personal and professional setbacks. He worked odd jobs to make ends meet, from selling chestnuts on the streets of Chicago to working as a taxi driver. These experiences provided him with a wealth of material for his comedy, but they also served as a constant reminder of the financial struggles that had plagued his family for years. Despite these challenges, Bill Murray's perseverance eventually paid off. In 1973, he was invited to join the cast of the National Lampoon Radio Hour, a groundbreaking comedy radio show that featured many of the same performers who had honed their skills at Second City. After joining the cast of the National Lampoon Radio Hour in 1973, Bill Murray's career began to gather momentum, setting the stage for his eventual rise to fame as one of Hollywood's most beloved comedic actors. Despite the challenges and setbacks that marked his early life, Bill's unwavering commitment to his craft and his innate comedic talent propelled him forward, enabling him to overcome the obstacles that stood in his way. In 1975, Bill Murray's big break arrived when he was invited to join the cast of Saturday Night Live, a groundbreaking sketch comedy show that was quickly gaining popularity. As a member of the SNL ensemble, Bill had the opportunity to showcase his unique comedic voice, blending dry wit, sarcasm, 
and a touch of vulnerability in his performances. His tenure on the show was marked by memorable characters and sketches, earning him critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Despite his newfound success, Bill Murray's life was not without its challenges. The demands of live television and the pressure to constantly deliver fresh, innovative material took a toll on his personal life. He struggled with substance abuse and strained relationships, grappling with the darker side of fame and fortune. In 1979, Bill Murray made the decision to leave Saturday Night Live, seeking new opportunities and a chance to focus on his film career. This transition marked a pivotal moment in Bill's life as he faced the uncertainty of leaving behind the familiar world of sketch comedy for the unpredictable landscape of Hollywood. Bill's first major film role came in 1979 with the comedy Caddyshack, in which he played the unforgettable character of Carl Spackler. The film was a critical and commercial success, solidifying Bill's status as a rising star in the world of comedy. Following the filming of Caddyshack in 1979, Bill Murray's career continued to gain momentum, propelling him to new heights of fame and success. He appeared in the 1980 military comedy Stripes alongside fellow SNL alum Harold Ramis and the 1981 romantic comedy drama Continental Divide, opposite Blair Brown. In 1984, Bill Murray's career reached new heights with the release of Ghostbusters, a supernatural comedy that became an instant classic. As Dr. Peter Venkman, Bill's dry, wet, and sarcastic humor gone through, earnings him critical acclaim and a legion of devoted fans. The film's success spawned a sequel, Ghostbusters 2, in 1989, and solidified Bill's status as a leading man in Hollywood. Despite his professional success, Bill Murray's personal life continued to be marked by struggle and turmoil. In 1981, he married Margaret Kelly. The marriage of Bill Murray and Margaret Kelly was a tumultuous chapter in Bill's life, marked by love, struggle, and ultimately, heartbreak. Bill Murray and Margaret Kelly first met in the late 1970s, as Bill's career was beginning to take off. Drawn together by their shared sense of humor and mutual attraction, the couple quickly fell in love and were married in Las Vegas in 1981. Their union was marked by joy and excitement as they embarked on a new life together and welcomed their first child, Homer, in the same year. However, the demands of Bill's career and the pressures of newfound fame soon began to take a toll on their marriage. As Bill's star continued to rise, he found himself increasingly consumed by his work, spending long periods of time away from home and struggling to balance the responsibilities of fatherhood with the demands of his career. In addition to the strain caused by Bill's professional life, the couple also faced challenges in their personal lives. Bill's struggles with substance abuse and his tendency to prioritize his own needs over those of his family created tension and resentment within the marriage. These issues were further compounded by the couple's differing expectations and values. As they grappled with the realities of life in the public eye, despite these challenges, Bill and Margaret welcomed their second child, Lukey, in 1985. The arrival of their second son brought moments of happiness and hope for the future. But the underlying issues in their marriage continued to fester, driving a wedge between the couple. As the years went on, the strain on Bill and Margaret's marriage became increasingly difficult to ignore. In 1996, after 15 years of marriage, the couple made the painful decision to divorce. The dissolution of their union was a devastating blow for both Bill and Margaret, leaving them to navigate the complexities of co-parenting and the emotional fallout of their failed marriage. The marriage of Bill Murray and Jennifer Butler was another tumultuous chapter in Bill's life, marked by periods of happiness and love, as well as struggle and heartache. Bill Murray and Jennifer Butler first met in the mid-1990s, while Bill was working on the film Ed Wood. At the time, Bill was still reeling from the end of his marriage to Margaret Kelly and seeking solace in his work. 
Drawn together by their shared interests and mutual attraction, Bill and Jennifer began a relationship that would eventually lead to marriage. In 1997, Bill and Jennifer were married in a private ceremony, marking the beginning of a new chapter in Bill's life. Over the course of their marriage, the couple welcomed four sons, Caleb, Jackson, Cooper, and Lincoln. The arrival of their children brought moments of joy and happiness to their union as they built a family together. Throughout their marriage, Bill Murray continued to work steadily in the film industry, appearing in a diverse range of projects that showcased his versatility as an actor. Some notable films from this period include Rushmore, The Royal Tenenbaums, Lost in Translation, and Broken Flowers. Despite the demands of his career, Bill remained committed to his family, striving to balance his professional and personal life. However, as the years went on, the strain on Bill and Jennifer's marriage became increasingly apparent. The couple faced a number of challenges, including Bill's ongoing struggles with substance abuse and his tendency to prioritize his career over his family. These issues, combined with the pressures of raising four young sons and the demands of life in the public eye, created tension and resentment within their relationship. In 2008, after 11 years of marriage, Jennifer Butler filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce proceedings were marked by allegations of infidelity, substance abuse, and domestic violence, painting a picture of a marriage in turmoil. As Bill Murray entered the new millennium, his acting career continued to evolve and flourish, even as he faced personal challenges and setbacks. Despite the difficulties that marked his life, Bill remained committed to his craft, delivering a series of memorable performances that showcased his unique talent and versatility as an actor. In the early 2000s, Bill Murray starred in several critically acclaimed films that demonstrated his range as a performer. In Wes Anderson's The Royal Tenenbaums, Murray delivered a nuanced and understated performance as the depressed and estranged patriarch of a dysfunctional family. His portrayal of Raleigh St. Clair in the same director's The Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou further showcased his ability to balance drama and comedy with skill and subtlety. One of the most significant roles of Bill Murray's career came in 2003 when he starred in Sofia Coppola's Lost in Translation. As the aging movie star Bob Harris, Murray delivered a deeply moving and introspective performance that resonated with audiences and critics alike. His portrayal of a man grappling with the complexities of life, love, and the passage of time earned him widespread acclaim, including a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor and an Academy Award nomination. Throughout the 2000s and into the 2010s, Bill Murray continued to work steadily in the film industry, appearing in a diverse range of projects that showcased his versatility as an actor. Some notable films from this period include Jim Jarmusch's Broken Flowers, Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox, and the holiday classic A Very Murray Christmas. In addition to his work in film, Bill Murray also made memorable appearances on television, including a guest spot on the popular series Parks and Recreation and a recurring role on the HBO miniseries Olive Kitteridge. These performances further cemented his reputation as a gifted and multifaceted actor, capable of delivering powerful and engaging performances across a variety of mediums. In 2019, he starred in Jim Jarmusch's The Dead Don't Die, a zombie comedy that showcased his signature dry wit and deadpan delivery. That same year, he also appeared in the critically acclaimed film The French Dispatch, reuniting with director Wes Anderson for another memorable collaboration. One of the most significant health scares Bill Murray faced during this time occurred in 2003, when he was diagnosed with a potentially life-threatening condition known as atrial fibrillation. This irregular heart rhythm can lead to complications such as stroke, heart failure, and blood clots. Murray underwent a minor surgical procedure to correct the issue and was prescribed medication to manage his condition. 
This health scare served as a wake-up call for the actor, prompting him to take a closer look at his lifestyle and make changes to prioritize his health and well-being. In addition to his own health challenges, Bill Murray also faced the loss of several loved ones during the 2000s. In 2005, his close friend and frequent collaborator, comedian and actor John Candy, passed away at the age of 43. The loss of his friend was a devastating blow for Murray, who had worked with Candy on several films, including Stripes and Spaceballs. The same year, Murray's brother, Brian Doyle Murray also experienced a significant loss with the passing of their sister Nancy Murray, who died of cancer. In 2024, Bill Murray continues to lead a life marked by creativity, curiosity, and a deep appreciation for the art of storytelling. Now in his early 70s, the legendary actor has entered a new phase of his career and personal life, one characterized by introspection, growth, and a commitment to living life on his own terms. As an actor, Bill Murray remains as active and engaged as ever, continuously seeking out new and challenging roles that showcase his unique talent and versatility. In recent years, he has taken on a diverse range of projects, from voice work in animated films to starring roles in independent dramas and comedies. His performances continue to captivate audiences and earn critical acclaim, cementing his status as one of the most beloved and respected actors of his generation. In addition to his work in film, Bill Murray has also embraced the world of television, making memorable appearances on popular series and lending his voice to animated projects. He has even ventured into the realm of live theater, starring in productions such as a stage adaptation of Groundhog Day and a one-man show inspired by the life and work of Mark Twain. Bill Murray's life and career have been marked by a complex tapestry of triumphs and tribulations, laughter and heartache, and a steadfast commitment to the art of storytelling. From his humble beginnings in a large working-class family to his rise to fame as one of Hollywood's most beloved and respected actors, Murray's journey has been defined by his resilience, determination, and an unwavering dedication to his craft. However, behind the laughter and success, Bill Murray's life has also been marked by personal struggles and setbacks. His marriages to Margaret Kelly and Jennifer Butler were both marred by infidelity, substance abuse, and eventual divorce, leaving him to grapple with the emotional fallout and the impact on his children. Murray has also faced health scares, including a diagnosis of atrial fibrillation, which served as a wake-up call and prompted him to prioritize his well-being. Off-screen, Bill Murray has cultivated a reputation for being something of an enigmatic figure, known for his spontaneous appearances at events and his willingness to engage with fans in unexpected ways. This unconventional approach to fame and celebrity has endeared him to many as he continues to defy expectations and forge his own unique path in the world of entertainment. In his personal life, Bill Murray has found solace and stability in his relationships with his children and close friends. He remains deeply committed to his family and is known to be a devoted father and grandfather, cherishing the time he spends with his loved ones. Murray has also developed a close circle of friends and collaborators, many of whom he has worked with throughout his career, forming lasting bonds that extend beyond the world of film and television. As he navigates the challenges and opportunities of aging, Bill Murray has embraced a lifestyle that prioritizes his health and well-being. He has become an avid golfer, often participating in charity tournaments and using the sport as a means of staying active and connected with friends. Murray has also developed a passion for travel and exploration, seeking out new experiences and adventures in far-flung corners of the globe. In 2024, Bill Murray's life is defined by a deep sense of purpose and a commitment to living authentically, guided by his own unique vision and values. As he continues to evolve and grow as an artist and individual, Murray remains a captivating and enigmatic figure, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment and inspiring generations of fans and fellow actors alike.